Prince Philip's advice for Prince William. Harry revealed, just get on with it. Prince Philip's shocking piece of advice for all younger royals like Prince William and Prince Harry has finally been unearthed by an expert. This claim was brought forward by royal expert Nick Bullen and during his interview with Fox News he touched upon one of his meetings with the late Prince Philip and the golden advice he had for younger royals like Prince William and Prince Harry. Mr. Bullen was quoted saying, I made a program with the Duke for his 90th birthday. He talked a lot about just getting on with things. Stop obsessing with trying to enjoy things. Stop obsessing over the emotion of a situation. Just do it, just get on with it. That's what he said multiple times. A lot of young people, not just the young royals, could learn from the Duke of Edinburgh. He described how it was important to stop worrying about what others thought of you and just do it. Just get on with it. Get on with the job. You know the Nike phrase, just do it? I think that was a mantra you could apply to Prince Philip's life very easily. Prince Harry and William's conversation translated by lip readers as brothers unite. With the whole world watching, Princes William and Harry were yesterday reunited in grief as they laid their beloved grandfather to rest. And they seemed to be stepping towards reconciliation, chatting good naturedly after the service. As they took off their masks, William said yes it was great, wasn't it, to which Harry replied it was as he wanted, Leprieters said. The brothers also spoke to the Archbishop of Canterbury, and William later said to his brother, absolutely beautiful service, ah, the music, according to interpreters. The estranged brothers were seen together for the first time in more than a year as they walked behind the Duke of Edinburgh's coffin before the funeral service at Windsor Castle and they were later caught side by side on camera in a private moment that could mark the beginning of the end of the feud that has torn them apart since Harry stepped away from the family to pursue a new life in America. William, 38, and Harry, 36, had not walked shoulder to shoulder during the somber, eight-minute procession from the castle's quadrangle to St. George's Chapel, and instead were either side of their cousin Peter Phillips. Nor did they appear to exchange a single word or glance during the ceremony. But, in what could be a pivotal moment on their road to Rapprochement, they were later caught briefly on camera walking together after William's wife Kate slipped ahead of them following the chapel service. They spoke to the Archbishop of Canterbury, and William later said to his brother, Absolutely beautiful service, ah, the music, interpreters said. ITN's Tom Bradley said, it's often said funerals are a time for reconciliation and that's a scene a lot of people wanted to see, not least the family itself. Commentator Eve Pollard said, they were talking. They were possibly overcome by emotion. They were talking, and that's got to be a very good sign. Let's hope that they sort their recent troubles out because the Queen needs them both. It had been quietly hoped that the loss of their grandfather, who both William and Harry loved deeply might begin a healing process and royal author Sally Bedell Smith reminded millions of American viewers of the unbreakable bond they share. She said in a US TV interview, William was 15 and Harry 12 when they walked behind their mother Princess Diana's casket, and their grandfather's funeral will have evoked deep memories of that. Right up to the night before Diana's funeral, it was still undecided whether William and Harry should walk in the procession. It was Philip who said to them, if you don't walk, you'll regret it for the rest of your lives. And then he told them, if you walk, I'll walk with you. Now, 23 years on and united once again in grief, William and Harry appeared last night to have taken the first, tentative steps towards peace. Their chapel encounter follows claims from a royal aide that wounds are still very raw. The source was quoted as saying, there is a realization that everyone does need to reach some form of resolution, if only for the Queen, who has said it is her wish that the family comes together.